Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Sea turtles, they are both majestic and ancient. They are one of the oldest living reptiles said to have been on the earth during the time of the dinosaurs, over 150 million years ago. They are also known to be the longest living vertebrate, with a lifespan that exceeds 100 years. There are seven species of sea turtle, the flatback, green, loggerhead, Hawksbill, Leatherback, Olive Ridley, and Kemp's Ridley. Though they are all unique, they all share many characteristics. They are cold blooded, lay eggs, have scaly skin, claws, and lungs. They also share features not seen in their land-dwelling counterparts, such as them having flippers instead of feet. This is a very important feature as it allows them to swiftly traverse the waters. Sea turtles' shells are designed specifically for being in water. As a result, they lack the ability to retract their head and flippers into their shells like their land-dwelling cousins. Sea turtles, like all turtles, do not have teeth. Instead, they have powerful jaws that are shaped like bird's beak. They are carnivores who take delight in eating various sea creatures such as crabs, mollusks, tunicates, and sponges. Jellyfish are among the sea turtles' favorite food. They are able to consume them without fear of their lethal sting due to specifically designed throats. Of all the seven sea turtles, the adult green sea turtle are the only herbivores, which means they only eat plant life. The Kemp's Ridley and loggerhead sea turtles eat mostly crab. The hawk's bill eat mostly sea sponges. The flatback, leatherback, and olive ridley prefer jellyfish. Here are some interesting facts about sea turtles. While they are unable to breathe underwater, they can hold their breath for long periods of time. When resting, they can hold their breath for four to seven hours. The leatherback has been reported reaching depths of 3,000 feet due to its exceptional ability of holding its breath. The top of a sea turtle's shell is called a carapace, while the bottom is referred to as plastron. Both the carapace and plastron have two layers. One layer is made of flattened bone plates that grow between and fuse with the ribs as the turtle grows, except for the leather back seat. And the second layer is made of keratin scales or scoots, which prevent water loss. Reptiles are ectothermic, which means they rely on the environment to regulate their body temperature. However, leatherbacks, unlike other sea turtles, are cold-blooded and dapper. Their bodies are suited for cold temperatures, which allow them to see prey in cold environments using counter-current heat exchange. Life Cycle of a Sea Turtle there are essentially four cycles in a sea turtle's life. Stage 1. Eggs The female sea turtle can lay approximately 50 to 200 eggs once ashore. 
In order to do this, the female digs a pit in the sand using their flippers and body. After laying her eggs, the female will return to the sea, feeding up to a year to regain her energy. Females will lay their eggs on the same beach in which they were hatched. Stage 2. The Egg Hatches Around 60 days after being laid, the eggs will hatch. Each hatchling uses its egg tooth to break out of its shell. Their movement, along with sand falling around their egg, helps bring them to the surface. Once at the surface, they instinctively head toward the ocean, where they will spend a majority of their time on floating rafts of sargassum for food and shelter until they reach the juvenile stage. Stage 3 The juvenile stage is where they seek a more permanent feeding location. Stage 4 The adult stage The cycle starts over again. However, it's vastly different for both male and female. The male of the species will go on to spend their entire life at sea, while the female will only return ashore to lay eggs. Sea turtles live a solitary life and will only interact with each other when it is time to mate. They are known to travel thousands of miles throughout the sea to find a mate or food. Habitat Sea turtles like warmer tropical waters. Adult sea turtles spend most of their lives in shallow waters, only going on the beach to lay eggs. Feeding, breeding, and nesting are not done in the same location. Consequently, they may end up traveling hundreds or thousands of miles between each area. Each kind of sea turtle has a specific geographic area where they nest, breed, and live. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest, biggest, and fastest of all the sea turtles. Unlike other sea turtles, its shell is soft and leathery. It can be found in the marine waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Its threat level is currently listed as vulnerable. The green sea turtle is the second largest sea turtle. As an adult, the green sea turtle is the only herbivore among all sea turtles. They can be found in subtropical and temperate regions of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, as well as the Mediterranean Sea. They are currently listed as being endangered. The loggerhead sea turtle is known for its signature broad, muscular head. It is ranked number three in terms of size. Its threat level is currently listed as vulnerable. They can be found in the temperate and tropical regions of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. The hawksbill sea turtle is the fastest nest builder and most tropical of all sea turtles. They can be found in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. They are currently listed as being critically endangered. The flatback sea turtle has the smallest geographic range of the seven sea turtle species. They can only be found in the waters around Australia and Papua New Guinea in the Pacific Ocean. Their threat level is currently unknown 
due to the lack of data. The Kemp's Ridley is the world's most endangered and smallest sea turtle, and their threat level is listed as critically endangered. They nest primarily during the day and can be found throughout the Gulf of Mexico and the United States Atlantic seaboard from Florida to New England. The olive ridley has the largest numbers of all seven sea turtles and is ranked the smallest along with Kemp ridleys. They are listed as vulnerable and can be found in tropical and subtropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Sea turtles are amazing creatures and are an important part of the ocean's ecosystem. However, due to the pollution, poaching, and habitat loss, their numbers have continued to decrease. Therefore, it is important, it is essential that conservation efforts are made to protect their precious species. Thanks for learning with me. Like and share videos, please subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.